Well, I've had so many challenging situations uh, on behalf of so many uh, clients. L let me tell you one recently. Um, so I was invited to go to England and debate in front of the Oxford Union, which is the most distinguished debate society in the world, to debate against the boycott, divestment, sanction movement uh, relating to Israel. And I was told by everybody, you can't win at Oxford. The students are overwhelmingly opposed to you. And I thought I had nothing to lose. If I can't win, if the students are opposed, maybe I'll change a few minds. And I went to Oxford, and I thought very hard about how to frame the debate. And I made arguments against the BDS movement, Boycott, Divest, Sanction movement, based on how it undercuts peace and how it makes it harder to make peace and how if you support peace in the two-state solution, you ought to be against the BDS movement. And the uh, audience started out overwhelmingly against my position. And by the end, we won an overwhelming vote. So it was a difficult situation. I was there not only on my behalf, but on behalf of the nation of Israel, and we ended up being victorious. I figured out what the values of the audience were, uh, you know, hundreds of people in the audience from Oxford, and I knew that by making an argument that the BDS movement undercut their own values, I could move them to support my position without causing any cognitive dissonance on their part. I told them that your own values should oppose BDS, and I persuaded enough of them, and they, they supported my position.